I learned to fly at a big international Very airport much. with lots of facilities and a lovely long asphalt runway. And for years, I sought out similar runways to fly to. I always avoided grass and I would never ever think of visiting any of the shorter or more difficult airfields near me. In fact, sometimes I would fly 60 or 70 miles to go to a nice long hard runway that I'd visited many times before, whilst flying over three or four grass strips that I wouldn't even have considered attempting. It wasn't so much to do with the aircraft I was flying at the time, it was more to do with my attitude to risk and not possessing the experience, training or confidence to push myself or my skills. When I changed aircraft to the Little Sport Cruiser a few years ago, I was based at North Weald with its nice long hard runway and initially I took it to all the old safe destinations I used to. However, it didn't take me long to realise this aircraft was a bit different. Its power to weight ratio was amazing and its ability to get airborne quickly and to fly slowly meant as my confidence in its capabilities grew, I found myself seeking out new destinations that I would never have thought of flying to before. And now I can honestly say, strip flying is my absolute favourite thing to do. Flying into short grass strips can offer a unique and enjoyable experience for pilots as well as giving you a real sense of accomplishment knowing you're doing something that not everybody does. So here are five of the best things I absolutely love about flying into these unique places. Grass strips are often located in picturesque rural areas offering stunning views of the countryside, farms and natural landscapes. Flying into these places allows you to enjoy the beauty of nature from a unique perspective, making the journey itself an unforgettable part of the adventure. Some of my favourite strips are ones that are in a quiet, peaceful, out of the way location. Well, they are peaceful until I turn up that is. Once there, I love to take a picnic and then a walk to just enjoy being at one with nature, knowing all the time I get to fly out of there again later. Short grass and farm strips are not always easy to establish permission. If you see one from the air or hear about a particular one, but note that is not in your flight guide, it can be fun trying to find out details of the strip itself, who to contact and whether they'll accept you as a visitor or not. I find the actual planning portion of the flight just as much fun as the flying part, and if you find one that is really exclusive, there's a great sense of mission completion if you do manage to get the okay and end up visiting. Grass farm strips typically have shorter takeoff and landing distances compared to regular airfield runways. This can be a fun challenge for pilots as it requires precise control and skill. They rarely have any kind of radio service to help you and don't have any ground markings and often not even a windsock, meaning you must use different cues to establish which direction to land in and what obstacles may affect you on any approach. As they are in a farm location, you've always got to be on the lookout for farm machinery and animals or even people close to or even on the runway. Farm strips also tend to be less well maintained and you may find that on the day you visit the grass is long or there's rabbit holes or tractor ruts on the runway. It's not too bad, is it? It's quite flat. Calling the owner beforehand will often give you the prior warning if this is the case. Many grass strips have a rich aviation history dating back to the early days of flight. Flying into these strips can give you a sense of nostalgia and a connection to the roots of aviation. The UK, and especially the east of England, is covered in old ex-military wartime air bases that have been returned back to farmland. However, many still maintain a small grass strip for private pilots and sometimes a small memorial or even a museum dedicated to the airfield's past. You may even encounter vintage aircraft or aviation enthusiasts who share your passion for history. Grass strip airfields often have a strong sense of community among pilots and aviation enthusiasts. You're likely to meet like-minded individuals who share your love for flying and who are eager to swap stories and to no, share their knowledge. Like a... This sense of camaraderie can make your flying experience even more enjoyable and rewarding and can open up new opportunities to fly into places you never thought were possible. 
Remember that flying to grass and especially farm strips requires some additional considerations such as checking the condition of the runway, understanding any specific procedures or limitations and ensuring your aircraft is suitable for the runway length and the terrain and that you are current and have the necessary experience to visit safely. Strip flying is not for everyone, but for many pilots the unique charm and the benefits of flying to small grass runways makes it such a worthwhile endeavour and I absolutely love it. Why not plan your next flight to somewhere off the beaten track? But remember, only do this by yourself if you're 100% confident. If not, why not take an experienced pilot or an instructor with you for the first visit? Thank you so much for watching and short field out.